Hello students, this is your history lesson. You know very well that we are reading about the golden age of Hindu rulers, chapter 6. And uh, in this regard, we read about the reign of the Chandra Gupta 1 and Chandra Gupta 2. Today, we will continue reading about Chandra Gupta 2, who took the title of Vikram Aditya. Chandra Gupta II's rule of 40 years was the golden age of the Gupta dynasty. But before start, I would like to share some uh, words, difficult words with you so that you will be able to understand more about this chapter. Number one, rebellion, uprising the people against the government. Number two, invasion, invasion, occupation, capture. Number three, ferocious, violent. Number four, Plundering, steal goods from a place or person, typically using force. Number five, destroying, to bring to a complete end. Number six, resist, to fight against or oppose something or someone. Number seven, biography. Biography, a written story or account of someone's life. Number eight, eyewitness. A person who has seen something happen. Now, I want you to come page number 31 from your book let's start reading and understand more about the golden age of chandra gupta 2 in this time of peace the hindu religion grew and hindu temples were constructed buddhism became less important Buddhism is a faith that was founded by Siddhartha Gautama the Buddha more than 2500 years ago in India. With about 470 million followers, scholars consider Buddhism one of the major world religions. I hope you are clear about Buddhism. Buddhism became less important. The Brahmins became strong and Hindu gods such as Shiva and Vishnu came to be worshipped. In the last lesson we have read about Brahmins. So, I hope you are well aware about the Brahmins. So, uh, they became strong and Hindu gods such as Shiva and Vishnu came to be worshipped. People started to worship these gods. These gods and goddesses were also found in the Vedas and became a tradition of Hinduism. The later Guptas. We have read about Chandra Gupta 1 and Chandra Gupta 2. Now, here are the later Guptas. Kumara Gupta succeeded Chandra Gupta 2. Now, who succeeded Chandra Gupta 2? Kumara Gupta. And he also ruled for 40 years. 
415 to 455 so he also ruled for 40 years 40 years as chandragupta 2 ruled however he had to deal with rebellion in mowa as well as with the invasion of the ferocious hans from the northwest hans the hans were nomadic warriors who terrorized much of europe and the roman empire in the 4th and 5th centuries ad so who were hans they were nomadic warriors in 455 Sikandra, Skanda Gupta came to the throne and he also had to face the Hun in Wayans in his 12 year rule. Although he managed to drive them back, the Huns were a warrior tribe from Central Asia who took pleasure in plundering and destroying everything. As I have told you, they were warrior. So, Huns were a warrior tribe from Central Asia. And they felt pleasure in plundering and destroying or damaging anything. In 510, the Huns attacked the Gupta Empire again which weakened the Guptas who could no longer resist them. In C550, C stands here uh, from common air. In C550, the Gupta Empire came to an end. So, this was the end of Gupta Empire. Oh, with the end of Gupta Empire, here came an other empire that was Harsh Vardhan, 606 to 647. India broke up into smaller kingdoms after the Guptas and it was not till the 7th century that the Vardhans of Tanasir reunited India. Harsh Vardhan was only 16 when he became king in 606 and ruled for 41 years. He made the largest empire after the Guptas. From the Arabian Sea to the Bay of Bengal with Kanoj as his capital. His Brahman courtier Bana wrote Harsh's biography, Harsh Charita, and the Chinese Buddhist traveler Xuan Sang's record of his prosperous reign is a primary source of historians as it is an eyewitness account. Like Ashoka, Harsh looked after the welfare of his people. He built roads, hospitals and rest houses for tra travelers and protected the temples and Buddhist monasteries. Monasteries are building or buildings occupied by a community of monks living under religious walls. He made Kanoj the capital beautiful with large palaces and gardens and surrounded it by a huge wall. Harsh wrote poetry and plays and patronized poets and artists. His empire broke up after him because he had no one to succeed him as king. So this is your lesson for today. I hope you have understood 
from the lesson thank you for listening take care allah hafiz